Hello YouTubers, I thought it was about time for me to do an update video and also I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year for tomorrow. Also I wanted to say a huge thank you for your continued support. I know that I haven't really been around on my Chris C74 channel that much in the last sort of six to eight months, basically because I've been concentrating on my health which I've had a few issues with but I just want to say a huge thanks, I really do appreciate all your continued support. Um, and I'm, I do apologise I haven't really been doing many videos. Happy New Year and I hope you've had a good Christmas. Also I wanted to tell you guys about my favourite, top three favourite purchases of 2012 um, and just have a little bit of a chat to be honest. Yes. So 2012, this time last year I was anticipating the Kodak ZI-12 which I was really excited about, um, but obviously that never happened, which I think is a huge shame. I think they would have been, I think it would have been an excellent camera to end on, but they just decided not to do it. And I think it's a shame that no one else has picked up from, you know, that has picked up from where Kodak left off. I think that is a huge shame as well. I know that there are pocket HD camcorders out there, you know, Philips do them, um, Panasonic, Samsung, Sony, all that. But there doesn't really seem to be the same kind of oomph in their cameras. And I think Flip called it well. I think the fact that they said that, that phones were going to replace Pocket HD camcorders, I think is pretty much happening now. I mean, when you look at the cameras that are on smartphones, you know, Android and the iPhone 4 and 5, I've noticed a lot of YouTubers are using iPhones now instead of cameras. So I think Flip sort of called that one. Um, but I do think it's a shame, because I really did enjoy POC HD camcorders. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. CES is just around the corner, so who knows. I haven't noticed any major announcements for POC HD camcorders in the last month. Um, but whether there will be some on CES, we'll have to wait and see. My top three purchases of 2012. Now this is items that I still have, <laughs> that I haven't sold off, that I really do like and enjoy and that I'm, I use on a regular basis. So the first one I got in August of this year, I think it was about August, I traded in two phones and some cash for it, and I haven't looked back since, and that's the Galaxy S2. I absolutely love this phone. I think it is a brilliant phone. If it was a woman, I'd marry it and have kids with it. <laughs> it has served me well. Okay, it is a second-hand one, it has got a few scuffs on it, but nothing that a screen guard can't sort out. But it has worked absolutely brilliantly over the last six months or so. I really do like it. I think it's a brilliant phone. Um, I've got Android 4.0.4 on it. Whether I'll update it to Jelly Bean, if ever it gets Jelly Bean, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see on that one. But I really do like it. The cameras on it is really good. Front facing and back. 8 megapixels, dual core processor the games work really well on it the internet works really well it's good for texting as a normal phone it works really well uh, it does 1080p but the 1080p is quite questionable but it does do quite a good 720p and vga so i am quite happy with it and i think it is a really good phone my top purchase for 2012 is the samsung galaxy s2 i think if you're thinking about getting it then I would say, don't think anymore, just do it. Would I upgrade to the S3? Mm, I don't think so, because I like the screen size of this phone. The thing I've noticed with mobile phones recently is the screens are getting huge, and I just think that, I don't, I think that's silly. 4.3 inches is more than enough for a mobile phone. Um, you can easily use the internet on it, and it is quite a nice size for a mobile phone having more than that i think is a bit silly so i don't think i would upgrade to the s3 obviously if i was given the s3 then i wouldn't say no um, but from a buying point of view i'm quite happy with the s2 so that's my number one purchase number two purchase mm, it's a bit tricky with this one mainly because i've had issues with it and that is the samsung galaxy tab to 7 inch. When I first got it, it was on Android 4.0.3 and it crashed like it had gone out of fashion and it really did annoy me and I nearly got the Nexus 7 because of it. 
because it was just driving me up the wall. Then they brought out the 4.0.4 update, which I did, and that seemed to improve it. And the last 4.0.4 update that they did recently has made it even better. That is why it's my number two, because I still have a few crashing issues with it, but it's not as bad as what it used to be. Um, and as a tablet, it works really well. I get about a day and a half, two days worth of use out of it. Um, so the battery life is pretty good. The screen response is pretty good as well. I've got Android ice cream sandwich on it. I'm not upgrading to Jelly Bean yet, mainly because I don't really like the layout of Jelly Bean. The fact that they've changed a few things I don't like. Um, I do like having the screenshot button at the bottom and also that grid thing at the top. And there are a few other things that I've seen on YouTube with Jelly Bean which I don't really like. So for now I'm going to stick with Ice Cream Sandwich. The reason I like this over the Nexus 7 is because you've got the SD card slot and you've got that extra camera. Not that I really use that but it's nice to have it. Plus I've also read that the Nexus 7 has had issues where the screen's lifted off. Whether they fix that or not now I don't really know. But that was one of the things that put me off. Um, I think the 32 gig version, I'm not really sure if that has the same issue, but that's what made me keep the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So that's my number two purchase of 2012. Now this one is a little bit of a funny story. <laughs> yes. Basically, I had the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, and I upgraded it to the iPod Touch 4th Gen. When they were talking about the iPod Touch fifth gen with the bigger screen coming out i was sort of interested in it but i have had this sort of love hate relationship with the ipod touches mainly because you can't drag and drop music easily onto the ipod touch you can't back up your music easily on the ipod touch unless you've got itunes now the problem with the itunes is the minute you press the sync button if you've changed your playlists in any way on iTunes, it does that on your iPod Touch. And it drove me up the wall because the amount of times I used to nause up my playlists whenever I tried to sync my apps or anything like that, it just oh, it just wound me up big time. I know there are various different ways around it, but it just getting to the point where I was so fed up with it that I sold it. Because <laughs> it was just doing my nutting. And basically what I wanted was an easy device that I could just put the music onto an SD card and then just listen to it. That's what I wanted. I also wanted a device that I could look on the internet if I needed to as a sort of backup internet device for my tablet. And also something that, might, that had a camera just in case I wanted to do any quick videos. Because the good thing about the iPod Touch was if I wanted to do a quick update video I could just use the front facing camera and it did a quite a good job on that. So I had a look around and there was the Galaxy Players 4.2 inch and 3.6 inch which I nearly got but it didn't seem to have the same kind of oomph as the iPod Touch. So then I thought well I do need a backup phone as well for my Galaxy S2. So I then thought well what about Android phones? Are there any Android phones out there which are similar to the iPod Touch? which I could use um, as an MP3 player. So I had a look. There were some Sony ones. I had a look at the Sony Play, um, the Galaxy Ace, and various other different devices. But they didn't really seem to have the same kind of oomph as the iPod Touch. Plus, there wasn't really any that would work as well as far as games were concerned. Because I, I do use uh, the iPod Touch for a few games and stuff. That brought me on to my number three purchase of 2012 which is the Galaxy Ace 2. Yes! As an MP3 player it is pretty good. Um, when you stick your headphones in it it is quite loud. I hook it up to my um, hi-fi as well and it does do quite a good sound. Okay there's a few sometimes there's a little bit of crackling um, but it does do quite a good job as an MP3 player. As an internet device the screen is slightly bigger than the iPod Touch which is good um, also the fact that you can sort of use one hand is pretty good as well um, the camera on it um, it's got a VGA front facing camera like the iPod Touch and the back one is a 5 megapixel one that does 720p video which is pretty good it does do quite good video 
I haven't compared it to the iPod Touch, but I think the quality is pretty good as well. You also get a lot more features. I know that there are apps that can change the iPod Touch's camera, but this seems to have more features than the iPod Touch, which is pretty good and all. Um, it's only got 2.3.6, I think, firmware, but that doesn't bother me. Um, as a backup phone, it does work pretty well. The internet's pretty good on it. Um, generally speaking, it is quite a good MP3 player. Um, it is a little bit pricey, though, um, but I got a, a quite a good deal for my iPod Touch, and I had a little bit of Christmas money, so that's what enabled me to get it. I'm, I mainly got it because of its dual-core processor and the fact that it handles the games better than any of the other phones that I tried. Okay, the screen isn't as good as the iPod Touch, but as a, as a sort of MP3 player, it does do quite a good job, so I am quite chuffed with it. And that is the Galaxy Ace 2. So there you go, that's my top three purchases of 2012. What about the coming year? Well, I don't really know, to be honest. I had planned on doing a review of the Galaxy S2 as an MP3 device, um, sort of just testing out the internet, showing you what the music's like, etc., etc. Um, also, I was going to do a video about how to put music onto an Android device. It is a little bit tricky, but once you figure out how to do it, then it does make it quite simple. Um, and also, there are um, MP3 players on the apps that you can use, um, which means that you don't have to worry about transferring playlists. And it does make it quite simple once you know how to do it. Um, because it was a little bit tricky to start with, so I might still do that video just to show you guys how to do it. But other than that, there isn't really any other videos that I've had planned. I mean, I, I might do a video after the CES show's finished just to see if there's any Pocket HD camcorders that are, that are announced. And I might do a few sort of update videos, but other than that, I don't really think there's much else for me to do, to be honest. Because, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am concentrating on my health. So I will be doing more videos on my Chris C74 weight loss channel than on this channel. My health is my main concern at the moment, so I will be concentrating more on that than reviews. Um, but I do try to answer your questions that you have. I'll try to keep you guys updated with what's going on. If you do want to see what I'm up to, then check my Chris C74 weight loss channel, um, which I'll be updating on a more regular basis. So yeah, that's my video. Sorry it's a bit long, um, but I did have quite a lot to cram into it. I hope you have a good Christmas. I hope you've had a good Christmas. I hope you have a nice new year. And here's to 2013. Who knows what it may bring. Hopefully lots of good stuff. <laughs> so there you go. That's enough from me. Hope you're having a good day. And I'll do some more later on. Bye bye for now.